guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is going to be another episode of Stensiflor. You guys know how this works. Reach out to a house I have some interest in. Hopefully they'll send me some samples and I'll give you guys first impression of those samples in this video. And the house that I, um, I'm talking about today is a house called Four Strange women four strange women and i'd like to read you their mission statement before we talk about their fragrances so the mission statement is we work only with natural materials we love to obsess over details and we know that botanical essences in just the right arrangement can transport you to another time and place both mentally and emotionally these perfumes are designed to create an experience for you that is beyond sensory aesthetics conjuring memories from natural landscapes remember deep within your subconscious i want these invisible scent molecules to travel into your brain and awaken creative energy now guys this is a house started out of kansas city missouri by a woman named jill mckeever jill first studied dance and then went on to music and then perfume i see so many of these sort of self-taught uh, self-taught perfumers be interested in other art mediums and then eventually find their way to perfume. I think because it's uh, a very obvious choice, I guess, if you really want to create and, and also very challenging uh, and very fun, I think as well. Um, it, but she wanted to distance herself from the harmful chemicals that are used in many of the modern perfumes that, uh, that we talk about and review. And, and she fell in love with herbalism and aromatherapy and natural perfumery. Now, she has two different sites. She has a website and an Etsy shop. There are many different things for sale aside from scents, including lip balms. Uh, really cool apparel, jewelry, uh, elixirs, and of course, fragrance oils and solid perfumes. Now, Jill was kind enough to send me three of her creations. They come in this really, really nice, almost little, um, little matchbox with a card uh, for each fragrance with like a description uh, of what's, what's in it and the fragrance. So um, I really enjoy... Uh, the presentation and the attention to detail on these. The first one we're going to talk about is called Decadence and Debauchery. That one's $42 for 8 ml. Um, the uh, description is this botanical base of immortal petals, uh, immortal petals, resins, and violet leaves is smothered in smooth layers of tobacco and vanilla bourbon, ripe blood oranges, bergamot, and a poppinax round at the top of this intense and androgynous concoction suitable for burlesque beauties, Victorian darlings, and vaudeville sensations alike. Now, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't get the blood orange. Uh, I do get, like, a citrus. And to me, it just smells like a citrus here. It's just too difficult for me to distinguish actual blood orange. Um, it just doesn't come out of my skin or I'm not picking that up. But I definitely get the tobacco, the vanilla, the bourbon, and resin. Um, and I get those in a pretty big way. It's a very sweet and spicy scent. It's, it's smooth. Uh, it's nice. Uh, it's suitable for either sex, which is a cool thing about these, because I think if you get, you know, the um, 8 ml, uh, they can definitely be shared between a couple. I also get some some real green notes in this one as well. Maybe that's the petals and the resins, but th that's sort of my take on decadence and debauchery. The next one is called Fireside Story. That's $48 for 8 ml. Uh, the description is Fireside Story opens with a flash of dark smoke that fades to allow a bouquet of woods to emerge. Traces of leaves, pine cones, and dried resins crackle in this smooth muted incense that remains close to the body three vanilla varieties of vanilla create a lingering finish in the perfect setting for a ghost story so out of the three i'm just going to be very blunt and upfront this is the one that far and away uh, is my favorite probably the only three that i'd really say oh you know you you should Go check this out. Uh, one of the, the probably the only the, the one that I'd buy um, if I if I were to buy one of these. This is amazing. This smells like being in front of a roaring fire to me. Like if I could give you guys a picture, this smells like being in front of a roaring fire a after coming into like a log cabin in the northwest 
or northeast after a long day of just being out in the cold woods. Uh, the pine and leaves here are super tangible. It's really nice. It's not too artistic, which I think is great. It's really a wearable scent. There are rounded edges here, and I think the smoothness to this one is provided by the three different types of vanilla. It sort of takes the, the, the very woody notes and the very smoky notes and makes them very tame and calm um, and, and just makes this one wearable. You know, this, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sack. So I love Fireside Story. The last one, Sand Dollar, $48 for 8 ml. Uh, description here, Sand Dollar is an artisan perspective of the mysterious ocean floor dwellers. This blend opens with notes of salty citrus and rosemary, creating a refreshing shoreline atmosphere. Over time, the scent goes deeper under the current of the ocean floor where seaweed mixes with a soft, tranquilizing musk. Although sweet, this scent becomes masculine when worn by men, making it a truly unisex fragrance. The deep aquatic notes wear down over time to a dry down of sand, freshly washed to shore and baked in the sunlight. Really nice, not sure. Okay, so guys, um, for me, this one, um, it, it, I like this one a lot. Um, I do. I just, I don't know that it, it it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, it sort of smells like a beachy scent to me. Um, it's not your typical aquatic, though. I will say that. It, I, what I would describe this as, honestly, is if you smell Bulgari's Aqua, which is really, I think, a great designer scent, this is a perfume oil almost artisan version of that so you know how that sort of gives you darker notes there's seaweed notes in that um this is sort of that and i think the rosemary is really uh used brilliantly here to kind of convey um that super dark green note that um is implied when you're looking for a darker aquatic scent uh, a sand dollar obviously is a sort of uh, species, I think, that lives on the ocean floor. Um, I think they could have gone a little bit more hardcore with like salty, dark notes here because it's a little bit, it's a little bit just citrusy um, and, and aquatic, you know? And, and I think it's good. I just don't, you know, I don't know that it's, I haven't smelled this before. As I said, I think it's sort of, to me, like it smells a little bit like uh, Bulgari Aqua, but but like a, a, a better uh, a version of that. I don't dislike it. I just like Fireside Story so much better. And I think it, it just shows a lot more depth, but I guess this is meant to be a lighter uh, lighter scent. It actually is is very nice. I could see uh, I could see wearing this in, in hot weather and, and doing well with it. So it's it definitely not a bad thing here at all. Um, and just so you guys know, the way these go is it's $16 for these three vials that you see here. They're um, 0.5 ml each and because they are perfume oils. You know, there's a lot of other scents that look really interesting on the site. November, Coyote, Horse, Coffee, Cocoa, Tobacco, and Leather. So a lot. Jill also does custom scents, so I want to mention that as well. I like these. You know, I just don't know. I guess I'm sort of discovering I might not be a perfume oil person. You know, I sort of feel like I've worn a lot of perfume oils and I've reviewed a lot of houses doing perfume oils. And I mean, I could be wrong in this. And I don't want to make a statement on the perfume oils, but normally I, maybe I'm not applying them right or whatever, because I feel like when I wear perfume oils, I always enjoy them. No one else ever seems to smell them. And so I feel like perfume oils are almost like a, a pleasure for yourself. Um, but if you want other people to notice them, I just feel like it's, it's tougher to get that reaction. Now, with that said, I really like these. These three all smell super natural. Um, and I don't mean super natural, like, ooh you know, like a, a ghost is coming into your bedroom. I mean, they're all smell really natural. The quality is really good. You could tell like the blending's really good as well. Um, but, uh, but you know, I just don't know that I get what I want out of oils as a, as a wearer. 
Um, so I would definitely wear Fireside Story. I like Decadence and Debauchery. I like Sand Dollar. I don't know if there's something I'd go crazy for. Um, I would certainly wear them. You know what I'm saying? If I had them in my in my rotate in my collection or whatever. Um, but uh, but I would check these out. I'd be really interested to smell what November is like, what horse is like, what coffee and cocoa and tobacco and leather um, are like. And I think you guys should, should check these out and you know uh, give your own assessment because because quality is certainly there. And if you like perfume oils. Uh, I would certainly check for strange women out, and I wouldn't just assume because of the name that they're only gonna gonna um, gonna cater to women because I think men could wear any three of these and and uh, and pull them off pretty pretty well. And if you're an oil person, a fragrance oil person, perfume oil person, then guys definitely definitely give these a go, and certainly give Fireside Story a go no matter what. Uh, because it's it's a great fall fragrance and it's winter fragrance and I think it's a sleeper you know as I said I, I, it might be hard to get noticed with it because I feel like oils are a little bit softer uh, but but that just could be my skin you know to, to be honest about it so guys that is my um, my take on four strange women I would love to know your opinion on these if you've checked these out what you think let me know, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, later this week with more videos. Guys, you already know what it is. My name is Max. Peace, guys.